Hey, what is happening, everybody? You are back with the Real PG for another NBA player prop video for today, Tuesday, December the 13th. Please ask you to smash the like button before we get into the video. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to get subscribed and to hit that bell button so you're getting the most up to date information on player injuries, player line movement, and anything else in regards to today's slate. Last but not least, there's three important links in the description section below. The first is for the free Discord. Free Discord is basically the heart and soul of the Real PG community. It's about 750 members right now, constantly talking all sports, NBA, NFL, NHL, throughout Prize Picks, Thrive, Underdog, you name it, 24 hours a day. There's tons of value to be had here, guys. Uh, second link is for the Patreon. There's two different tiers. There's a base tier and an all-access tier. If you are interested in getting in the Patreon but you're a little unsure about things, you can click the Testimonials tab here in the free Discord, and you can check out what people are saying about myself, the Patreon, um, you know, basically everything that you would need to know to help make your decision. Uh, if you're still not sure after you've seen all this, well, right now, the third link is going to be for you. Thrive Fantasy and The Real PG have partnered together to bring you guys an awesome promotion. Right now, there is about one week left on the promo only. So get in while you can. If you go over to Thrive Fantasy, sign up as a new user with promo code, capital letters PG, deposit a minimum of $10. You can deposit as much as you'd like, and they will match 100% up to $100 and then make one paid play as little as one dollar and that will take care of all the requirements once you have done all three things head over to the discord send me a message letting me know you've taken care of the thrive requirements and i will have you verified and moved into the patreon that same day most of the time all right so with that being said guys make sure to check it out like i said time is running slim and free patreon double your money and another book to bet at sounds like a lot of wins to me let's get started with some picks over at thrive today i've got four for you guys these are going to move off the board fast so you got to act quickly on thrive okay first look we're going to have james harden over his pra at 37 and a half i personally like his assists but they're not offered so we're going to take a look at pra so harden's pra comes out Graded at minus 136 to the over, plus 103 to the under. Uh, he's juiced over on points and assist. Rebounds are, are plus money at 6.5, um, but I don't see any issue clearing 37.5. If you take a look at James Harden in the past versus Sacramento, you will see that he has done quite the number on them. This most recent game, I don't know what happened here, but it's an outlier, so we're going to leave this to the side, and we're going to start at the second game down. So basically averaging, well, let's take a look. 29, 29, 33, 32, 34, 27, 36, 50, 36, 34, 28, 27, 35. Points. Points, guys. And then we've got 7, 11, 13, 6, 8, 5, 11 rebounds, and then 12, 14, 14, 8, 7, 10, 10, 10 assists. So he is killing them, absolutely killing them. Lock that PRA in. Second look we're going to have is Joel Embiid. I like his PRA, and it's not offered at Thrive, but they do have points plus rebounds, and that I am interested in. Let's take a look at Joel Embiid versus Sacramento. Also done a number. 36 points, 25 points, 33 points, 21 points, 29 points. Rebounds, 12, 17, 16, 17, 17, 15. Getting the boards against these guys. So you got a PR, a point rebound of 48, 42, 49, 38, 46, 37, and we need 42 today, so I don't see any issue with Jan or with uh, Joel getting there. So you can go ahead and lock that in for pick number two, Joel Embiid over 41.5 points plus rebounds. Next look we're going to take a look at is Tobias Harris over 16.5 points, another person who has absolutely done a number on Sacramento from this Philly team. Look at Tobias's points. 16, 29, 22, 18, 14, 19, 18, 17, 28, 20. 
One time he's not cleared, and it was the most recent game where he would have hooked us. Lock that 16.5 points in. Let's take a look on the books. We didn't look at Joel either. I'm sorry, guys. Joel's <coughs> PRA is one minus 131 to the over and minus 102 to the under. But like I said, the assists here are juiced to the under. So the points plus rebounds is going to give you even more value. The points alone have bumped to 32.5. So you could take the points at, uh, if they are offered or the points plus rebounds because he has buried them with rebounds in the past. Um, let's take a look at Tobias Harris now. Tobias Harris over his 16.5 points, minus 123 to the over, minus 107 to the under. This line has moved a little bit in the wrong direction, but... Based on the history, I really have no reason to believe that he wouldn't hit points today. If you're not sure about that one, you can certainly leave it out. Uh, last but not least, we're going to be looking at Zion and his PRA. Uh, he has like insane value everywhere today. So <clears throat> let's take a look at him quick on the books. So we got Zion Williamson and his PRA coming in at minus 133 to the over, plus 101 to the under. Uh, pretty solid look, I think. He's been getting the job done consistently lately. Uh, if we look at Zion's past five, he's at 46, 46, 44, 34, and 53 PRA. So I don't see this being an issue. The only one you might be a little concerned about is Tobias. Um... But yeah, I think that's pretty safe to lock in, guys. I want to see what I all have locked in over here right now currently, just so you can see for all sake. So I have a three-man and a four-man, one with Tobias, one not, and then I am going to currently make a two-man with these last couple dollars on the account quick. Um, so let's just do Embiid and Zion because those are the two that I am 100% very comfortable with. I do like Harden a lot, too, but he's already in both. So I don't want to overexpose myself. So Zion Williamson, over 39.5 PRA. Cool. Send off the last six bucks. Turn that into 20. All right. Let's head over to prize picks, guys. All right, so there's quite a few over at prize picks today that I really like. You can, of course, repeat all the same plays. But I have some other looks over here that I prefer. So let's go back to these same players. We're going back to the same players, same well. James Harden. We're looking at his assist here on the prize picks. Like I said, Harden has done a number on these boys. You saw that. You saw what he's done. Uh, let's take a look at the assist line by itself. James Harden assist minus 142, same as the PRA essentially plus 108 to the under, basically the exact same line, so take your pick. Um, I prefer assist personally. He has been getting her done. I mean, the PRA is certainly no slouch. <laughs> James is definitely looking good lately, so I like that. Let's look at Embiid and his full PRA. Or actually, let's look at his points because they're at 30.5, and we got big-time juice at 31.5. Lock that one in. Um, here we're going to skip Tobias just because I already have Tobias exposure. Uh, let's look at Zion, his PRA again, or maybe just his points. Let's see what the best look is on this side here. So CJ is another one we're going to look at, his points. Um, but who am I looking up? I forgot now. Zion. All right, so Zion's PRA, 39.5 points, minus 134, 27 and a half. They got it at 26 and a half. I'm going to steal that point of value. Thank you very much. All right, so let me flip back over to my Patreon and see what else I've got for plays and see what I want to dish out to you guys. Um... All right, let's take a look at Anthony Davis and his points at 26.5. The books already got him up to 27.5 also. And I'm pretty sure the juice is pretty substantial still. Minus 134 at 27.5. Very good look there. 
four. Uh, I like Lonnie Walker and his threes today. It's not a great matchup for three-pointers, but when you think about three-point matchups, it's not really a matchup thing necessarily, but big-time juice. Minus 152 to the over, plus 115 to the under. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to rip this one off the board sooner or later. Uh, he's been hitting at a pretty good rate there for the last five. Let's take a look how many he's shooting per game. How many threes is Lonnie shooting? Six, five, seven, five, four, five, five. I don't like how many he's shooting, but he definitely hits with quite the clip. 40%, 100%, 28%, 60%, 67%. I mean, it's pretty good. Pretty good. You know, if you dig into the matchup, you got a small forward, three-pointers versus the Celtics. Very middle of the road, allowing two-pointers. Oh wrong column there allowing 2.35 a game so i mean we only need two so i think it's probably safe at minus 152 juice uh we need one more play there's quite a few good ones uh like i said mccollum and his points are juiced up pretty good but i know this is going to scare a lot of people away um we could take a look at lebron james he is probably going to get bumped on his assist they are currently at 5.5. Only reason I would caution LeBron in this lineup is because we already have AD and Lonnie. I don't want to go three guys deep on the Lakers. I don't mind going three deep from Philly with Harden, Embiid, and Tobias. But different story for the Lakers. Um, I do like Curry and his rebounds. He's in a hell of a matchup today. Let's take a look at this one. So... Point guards, rebounds over the last seven games versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Second best matchup at 7.1 per game. Only thing that makes me caution this one is um, his past versus the Bucks. So... In 33 minutes, 29 minutes, 38 minutes, 29 minutes, 36 minutes, 26 minutes. So all over the place with minutes. Points 8, 12, 41, 19, 20, 10. So he's not doing much against the Bucks. Rebounds 5, 8, 6, 4, 4, 1, 4, 5. Assist 8, 4, 4, 6, 8, 6. Um, so yeah. It's not pretty against the Bucks for Steph, but this Bucks team right now is injury-ridden, and they're giving up a lot to the point guard for the rebound, so I do not mind that look. Um, I'm trying to close you out here. I, you could use the taco, whatever the messy taco is. I already used it up, but this is a great one. He's taken six shots in the last five cup games. Uh, he only needs to take three today. I don't see that not hitting. So, yeah, there's five for you guys. Um, I want to see, like I said, if I can find you one more real quick. Let's dig and see. We can always add Tobias Harris, but like I said, the juice has gone down on him, so it ca makes me caution a little bit. Let's take a look at some of these all-star players from this match. Uh, Giannis doesn't have much juice on anything but rebounds, and I don't really... Grayson Allen threes looks good. Let's see if Grayson Allen has threes today. Of course not. Um, all right. Time to start looking through the free props here. Um, I don't like that. Really, there's not much of anything in here. Um, I already used Zion. I don't know what that would take that. I like Brook Lopez, but he's his juice isn't there today on the books. Golden State isn't a team that turns the ball over a ton. I mean, Curry does. But if we look at Lopez on the books, we got Brook over 2.5 blocks and steals, minus 110 to the over, minus 121 to the under. So I can't get behind that on um, something I'm giving out to YouTube. Unfortunately, just the 1.5 blocks is not offered because that is quite the great line. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, outside of Steph right now, I don't really know where else to go on this slate unless you want to look at McCollum. But Curry's rebounds, minus 136 to the over. Does Steph have a turnover prop? Let's see. If he does, we're going to take the over on Steph turnovers. Of course he doesn't tonight. Prize pick sucks, man. I'm sorry. Prize pick sucks. Um, three point. Let's take a look at some of these. We're going to find one more, guys. We're going to find you one more pick. All right. Let's take a look at McCollum's matchup. Shooting guard. Versus Utah. Points. Let's look over the season first. All right, versus Utah. Middle of the road, 21 points per game. Let's look at the last seven. Hopefully they're trending in the correct direction. And, oh, no, they are the dead worst for points. So McCollum, despite the juice, that looks a little gross. So I'm not going to be playing that today. Um, so, yeah, this is really unfortunate. Um, Tobias Harris, I mean, is probably the next best look with Steph Curry. Um, and again, let's take a look at his numbers on the book, and let's look at his matchup. So we got... Tobias Harris, small forward for Sacramento. Small forward over the season versus Sacramento points. Top seven matchup at 23 over the last seven games. They have trended in the wrong direction. They're only giving up 18.82 now. Uh, so they've clamped down on defense. Last 15. 22. So, yeah, they're kind of jumping all over the place. They've played better in the last seven games. Um, so, yeah, you could stick Tobias in there. You could stick Curry in there. Um, there's not really any other looks that I absolutely love right now, and I already used my taco. So, um, yeah, maybe we'll just – I don't really like sending them through as five-mans. If I can help it, I'd rather do a four-man or a six-man, but – um, if anything, I would probably take off the Lonnie Walker threes and go four-man, but I do really like this. So we're going to run it five-man. Actually, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna get greedy here. I'm gonna, sorry, guys, to do this on the air, but this is probably good to give you a little bit of a brief, the briefest research you can do to give yourself some kind of edge. You know, I'm not going to deep dive on air because I was not prepared for any of that, but you can do some basic research really quickly. So Shangun's rebounds are bumped to eight. Otherwise, I would have been all over that. So they started at eight last night even. Um, so let's take a look at... Aiden doesn't look great. Unfortunately, there's no Eric Gordon steals. Jabari's rebounds look good, but they're bumped. Don't love much of anything else from this game. Cal Bridges might be worth a look, but is Booker ruled out for sure? He is ruled out for sure. So... Tory Craig, DeAndre Ayton, Chris Paul, the coverages, they're all going to pick up usage. Um, man, I really wish there was more on this board right now. This is frustrating the hell out of me. I want to give you guys a six pick so bad. Um, but I'm not comfortable 100% with the Curry play. Definitely not comfortable with the McCollum play anymore. Let's, let's take a look at LeBron one more time. Let's see if I can, yeah, no, I can't get that in there. Not at minus 127. Okay, his points are shooting up, though. You know what? Let's see how LeBron's scoring has looked lately. I don't, like I said, I don't want to do this and have, oh, he's at 25.5. The books have him at 26.5 juiced over. I got to take it. All right. Let's do it. That's what I got for you today, guys. 
sorry and you're welcome i guess for the extended video uh four picks over three picks over at thrive here's a six man for you over at prize picks if you're tailing i wish you the best of luck today guys again these are first look plays it is early in the day i have to do more research please do your own research before just blindly tailing even though these picks are getting you in the general correct direction so with that being said Again, best of luck, and until the next one, peace.